live from the local station, News 4 Jax starts now. In 10 days, Orange Crush, a huge festival of sorts, will come to Jacksonville. This event has been on Tybee Island near Savannah in the past and attracts thousands of people, mainly young adults. The mayor of that Georgia barrier island says there were issues with alcohol use, reckless drivers, and partiers blocking traffic. Promoters, however, say they wanted to make a move here to Duval County over what they contend were a lack of resources, limited parking, and civil rights violations by Tybee Island officials. Now, this map shows some of the locations where the festival plans to hold events here in Jacksonville. News 4 Jackson reporter Jim Piggott spoke with city leaders and businesses today, and he's joining us live from Jacksonville Beach. Jim. You know, even though there's no one event scheduled out here at Jacksonville Beach, it's going to be the crowds out here because people are expected to flock to the beach area. And there's been some concern. Some businesses had, you know, worried about safety. But I have been talking to bars and restaurants all up and down First Street here, and they say this should be a big welcome from Jacksonville Beach. This is video of Tybee Island, Georgia in 2018. Thousands of young adults hit the beach for the Orange Crush Festival. The mayor of Tybee says there were issues with alcohol use, reckless drivers, and partiers blocking traffic. The mayor also says in 2018, promoters didn't have a permit for the gathering. But promoters say they wanted to move because they believe that there was a lack of resources, limited parking, and civil rights violation by Tybee Island officials. Sky 4 video shows one of the locations where the event will be this year, at the beaches. On the final day, Sunday, June 20th, there will be an event at Huguenot Park. Orange Crust will also have events throughout Jacksonville, like at the Adult Club's Mascaras. It'll be fun. It'll be a nice experience. And I think that we can show up Georgia in a good way and responsibly host this event because it's going to be major. On opening day, there will be a mixer at the Justice Pub downtown on Bay Street. Then the after-hours party will be at Club Bliss on Southside Boulevard. And on Saturday, an event at the Onyx Sports Bar in North Jacksonville on Norwood Avenue. Today, I asked Mayor Curry about Orange Crush. I'm grateful people want to host events in Jacksonville, Florida, and uh, uh, we ought to celebrate all people and we ought to all work together to have a good time. Have you been talking to them, though, and are you... I mean, are there any contingency plans? Because there have been. I, I know, I know members in my office have been in touch. I know members in public safety sector have been in touch, and uh, everybody's working together. I also checked in with the Visitors and Convention Bureau in Jacksonville. We continue to, to make our um, services available for Orange Crush for um, to help them with anything they need, and keep reaching out to them to see what, what their needs are for the event coming up, and and looking forward to welcoming them, the visitors to town. City Council Member Joyce Morgan says she's asking questions about what to expect. I'm really not concerned, and I'll tell you why. We have a great zone commander in, in our district, and she's going to be working very closely and making sure that everything that needs to happen in the right direction is going to happen, and we have to trust in that. And while the event may have been a problem in Georgia, leaders and business managers here don't believe that it will be. And bringing people together, and not just black people only, all people, to actually show them that we can all come together and just have a good time together in our community. You know, and of course, I reached out to the promoters of the event and have not heard back from them today, just trying to find out what type of cooperation that they're getting from the various city agencies. Also, I talked to a business up in Tybee Island about the fact that it was leaving. And the one advice that they wanted to let people know here is that expect a lot of littering. That was their main concern on the beach. And they just said that's one thing that people should watch for. We're live at Jacksonville Beach, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.